So this game is amazing. I was showing it off on stream. I have the physical version behind me. You can see it right there. That's the physical version of the game. It's amazing. This is the number one rated family game on Board Game Geek, which tells you about how great it is. It is a game where you tend a forest full of birds and you wanna get birds that are synergistic with one another. Over time, you build systems. It's incredible. It's just incredible, okay? And I'm gonna try and explain what I'm doing with my decisions so that it makes sense to you. Uh, you might not immediately pick up the game, but if you listen to me, you'll start to pick up little tips. So, at the beginning of every game, you're allowed to pick a, a bonus card. Enclosure Builder. Birds with ground nests, you get four bonus feathers if you have four or five birds with ground nests. Or birds with a flocking power, plus two per bird. Well, I think we're going to do the enclosure builder, because that sounds great. That's 31% of cards have a ground nest, so ground nest sounds good. No, ground nest. Ground nest. It's an ecology game. It's an ecology game. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful game. Okay. So, let's take a look at these birds real quick. Oh, I love the Eastern Phoebe. This is a great bird. Actually, these are both really good. We could totally do this. Let's do a Barred Owl and the Eastern Phoebe. And then we'll get the food necessary. One berry, one mouse. Oh, this is so good. We want the Eastern Meadowlark. Okay, actually... The Western Meadowlark here is incredibly... This is a board game. Yes, I have the board game right there. It started as a board game. It just launched on um, on Android. Okay. So, this is a good start. Look at this. Look at this bird right here. This is going to be key. The Western Meadowlark. All players lay one egg on any one ground nest bird. You may lay one additional egg on an additional ground nesting bird. That's awesome. The Western Meadowlark is very important. So we're going to get this one. And I think we're going to stick with these two. So we'll put out the Barred Owl and then the Eastern Phoebe first. And then we'll go for the Western Meadowlark. With this, we could get a lot of eggs. So that's a good idea. Let's do that. Oh my god, look at this. The round three goal is eggs in ground nests. That's fantastic. That's really good. So, the first round goal is to have the most number of birds in the field. Which means we should probably put the Eastern Phoebe out first. So we got our bird out, and that's our first turn. Now the Otoma is going. And you can see, on this bird's turn, he drew a card. And he, got, he has four feather points already. So the bird is kind of a bastard, and he gets lots of sneaky points. You don't get to see what he does, because he's a robot bird. Now, you'll notice, with the Eastern Phoebe, all players gain one worm from the supply. That's fantastic. We, we love that. Now, we would love to be able to play this, but first we should probably put the Barred Owl in first. He's a forest-only bird, so we're going to play him in the forest. And this is a tucking card. As a predator... This bird will eat other birds, and you gain bonus points for every bird that it eats. So, that's very good. We're going to play him owl. next. The barred owl's haunting call sounds like, who cooks for you? Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you? That's cute. It tells you bird facts when you play them. Listen. That's, what, that's the actual bird call. Listen. The, bird, the birds all have animations, too. This game is amazing. The quality on this game is unbelievable. Okay, so here's what we need to do next. The next thing that we need to do is get this western meadowlark out into the, into the field as soon as possible. So we need to get food. That's the way we get food, right here. So we need a wheat and a bug. So let's, so let's do that. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Look at this. Wait, look at this. All players gain one worm from the supply. So wait a minute. We should do eggs first. We'll put two eggs on this bird. And we gain one worm. The Phoebe is too high pitched. Yeah, it's very high pitched. 
and the Western Meadowlark can be played once we get wheat. So now we need to give the wheat here. So let's grab a wheat from the bird feeder. Anyway, let's continue. So what's happening here is that um, this barred owl, look at a card from the deck. If the bird's wingspan is less than 75 centimeters, tuck it behind this card, which gives us a point. That's good. Unfortunately, that egret is too big for this bird to eat, so no luck. But we got the wor we got the food we need. I love this game. Western Meadowlark. So now we can play this. Wait. Oh, oops, sorry, wrong one. We need to play it in here. We got to take one egg to pe play Western that bird. Western Meadowlark. This pretty bird also has a beautiful flute-like song. <gasps> this pretty bird also has a beautiful flute-like song. Listen, listen. Oh my god, it's so cute! Okay, so now we have to decide what's next. I think we should see if maybe we can draw any of these birds. Oh, wow. That would be great. A crossbill? A northern flicker. Ooh. Hmm. Wow, northern flicker only takes one, and when you play it, you gain all the worms. Oh, you, that's okay. That's okay, Jostery. You don't gotta apologize for that. Alright, let's draw a card. We could pick the red crossbill... Which is cool because it does give us extra grain. We could get the Northern Flicker, which only takes one piece of food to play and gives us some worms. Or we could draw a new card. Or we could wait till next turn. Hmm. Honestly, this would be good for getting extra food, but we don't need bowl nests. Also, this is cool because he's nine points. The flicker? You love the flickers? I mean, it's a very cute bird. Hmm. Honestly, we should. You know what? We should draw the crossbill. This red crossbill seems like it could be good for us. We also need water birds, though. Okay, we could aim for water birds in the future. Hmm. Oh, I love Orioles. I, I, uh, I did really good with an Oriole last one. The Orioles are really, is a really strong bird. I love them. They're so cute. You know what? Let's get the red crossbill. Let's grab it. Okay, so now we have the red crossbill. <gasps> a black billed mag a black billed magpie. Magpie. Oh, that's a cool one. Hmm. Are we tied now? No, we're not. We're winning the first round. We're winning the first round objective. Sorry, you can't see that right now. We're winning the first round objective. That's sick. That's good. Okay. Magpie. Magpie? Magpie? I don't remember. People tell me different. Magpie? What? Magpie? Magpie? I don't know. Whatever. Always with the, the fucking hate. Are these only based on North American birds? This version of the game is just the North America version. Um, but there is a Europe, Asia, and Africa version that are on the way. And those are going to be coming out on the PC soon. They already exist for the physical version. Um, the physical version has the Asia expansion um, and also has the, uh, the Africa and Europe ones. This game is called uh, Wingspan. It was originally a board game that has now come to PC and, and uh, iPhone and Android. It's amazing. It's, it is a world-recognized game. It is phenomenal okay we don't have quite enough to get all the food we need this turn but we would get a bug if we did it this way so this is actually the better move so this oh that's another thing by the way just so you know the physical version of this game is incredible the physical version, the pieces are amazing. They're these little, they have little meeples. They have these beautiful eggs. Anyway, incredible. Let's grab, let's do this. So the reason why I'm doing this instead of getting food is because if I do an egg thing, 
not only do I get a whole bunch of eggs, but I also get one free bug, which is very helpful. All the grubs. So we may as well do it this way. Since right now we can only get one piece of food from the forest, we may as well do this one and get a piece of food anyway. Yeah, it's a bird move. So this is a bird brain move. That's what we're doing right now. And now we get to lay one. There we go. And look at that. Look at all those beautiful things. Look at how many eggs we have now. Now we've got all the eggs we could ever use. And we're going to win the first round, it looks like. Hold on, let's see. Oh, no! He tied us! He got another bird down. Oh, well. All right. So, now what we need is... Hi! Oh! Ooh! I want this spotted sandpiper! We can play this right away if we get this! Look! A spotted sandpiper! <gasps> Peep! Look at a cutie! I love these! I love- I fucking love sandpipers! These were all over the place where I lived. My home- my home state. Oh, I love them. We need it. And look, it only costs one bug and we can put it right into the water zone! That's fantastic! It's exactly what we need! There we go. So now it's the beginning of the new turn. And now we will play the spotted sandpiper. And this means we draw extra cards, which is very good. Very, very good. The purple martin, that's a good one. Looks like they've got a quail here. Okay, so let's look in here. We need grains. Sandpipers are so good. Did you ever watch the Pixar short film Piper about a baby sandpiper who learns to dig for clams? I never saw that one. That sounds adorable. Yeah, I want to play. I bought Inscription, but it didn't work on stream, so I haven't played it right, right yet. Okay. So we want to get grain. But actually, we can do better. You want to know why we can do better? Because look at this. You can pay a card to get extra food. So we may as well go right here and we may as well draw extra cards. So we can pay an egg to draw a card. So first off, let's see. The Ferruginous fer 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 Hawk. Hmm. I don't know if that's very good. This is a, wow, this is a good bird. Every time we activate the egg command, we will get, uh, we will get a bonus egg on this bird. But I don't know if that's really what we want here. Let's draw a card. Yes! Yes! This is perfect! This is so good! A pine siskin is exactly what we need. The hawk is pretty. We could grab it. But I think we're gonna tuck it if we take it. I think we're gonna take it. Oh, if you can find a copy of it, hey Red, get it. It's rare. Some some game stores get loads in, but it's really good. Uh, the 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 hawk would be good, but it's not a well. Hmm. I don't know if we have room for the hawk in this build. We don't have mice either, which is a problem. So maybe we should um. Maybe we'll take the quail for now. And then we get to draw an extra card. Ooh, black skimmer. That's a cheap bird to get out. So we have an we have a really cool thing right now. We have a cool setup at the moment. And the reason we have a cool setup is because we have a lot of food generation and a lot of card generation and we have extra eggs. So this is very good. But we're going to do something a little special, which is, real quick, we are going to get wheat. Oh, damn. That's troublesome. Okay, we are going to get rid of the quail. And we're going to get an extra piece of food. Which is going to be one of these fish. Because we desperately need the fish. Yeah. Oh, damn it. He can't eat that bird. God damn it. Alright, so we're, we're having a little bit of trouble. This guy might beat us this time. 
Yeah, the Fer Ferraginus hawk is so cool. There's so many cool birds in this. Okay. We need more food, no matter what we do. But we might need to do something very silly here. We have four more turns before the end of the round. Oh, a great horned owl. Look at that. Oh my god, that's so cool. Are there eagles? Yes, there are. Eagles have a whole class of, of actions. They're really cool. I'm glad to hear you'll be hanging around. Yeah, the black skimmer is a ground nest, which is very good. We want to get this one out. Well, let's see what we can do here. So, if we get rid of... Wait, hold on. Is there one of these we could, we could discard? Hmm. We could say no to the crossbill. But, I mean, honestly, this is better. I think this is better. So this is a flocking bird. Okay. Hold on. Let's pay this, and let's say let's say goodbye to the, to the siskin. Okay? We're going to give that card away. And we got the grain we need. We got the grain. Oh, shit. We got the grain. That's fantastic. Yeah! Hey, the American woodcock! Oh, oh my god, can I show you something cool? Can I show you something cool about American woodcocks? Look, hold on. Oh my god, these are the cutest birds in the world. Watch this shit. Watch, I'm about to show you the coolest shit. Look, 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 look. Watch. Look, they walk all goofy and funny. And here he goes. They're so cute. Yeah, they have the silliest little walk. Because they're used to walking in the snow. So they have to feel so they don't fall through. That's why they do that. They test the ground in front of them so they don't fall through. Isn't that so cute? I love it. Anyway, let's continue. So we are going to eat this woodcock. Our barred owl just ate it. So cute. All right, so we should play this crossbill because that would be very good and we would get lots more food that way. So we're going to play the crossbill and we need to pay one egg, which will be this one. Red crossbill. These birds use their specialized bills to pry apart conifer seed cones. Conifers. That's so cool. Okay, and now we have two turns left, so we should be able to play a black skimmer if we're lucky enough. We need both of these. We need this and we need this. Fantastic. And we gain an extra grain. And we get to draw a card. And he gets to eat it. Home. Home. Look at that. The, that owl's getting fat. We love him. We love our fat owl. Yeah, we're getting creamed on the uh, on the on this particular round, but And we can play the black skimmer now. Look at that. Gotta take one more egg away. So we lost this round, which sucks, but we still got points. We just got two instead of five. We're still, I think we're still leading right now. Point wise, I think we're leading. Look at them. Oh my god. Okay, so we could draw more cards. This is eggs in ground nests, which we have a lot of ground nests, so we could fill that up first. We could fill up all our eggs. Or we could save that to the end. I think drawing cards is wise, because we have no cards right now. So we want water birds. Oh, this is a cheap one. Oh. A barn owl would actually be amazing. Do you, I bet we could get a barn owl down. I bet we could get a barn owl down. That'd be cool. 
Actually, you know what? We should do... Wait, hold on. We should do this first. We should do this first. Oh, big pelican. Oof. Yeah, she's awesome. There's a, she actually has a character name, believe it or not. Okay, we're, we are going to win this round, by the way, with eggs. Because we have a million ground bird nests, which is awesome. Now we got to draw. We're going to get this barn owl. Because this is going to be sick. And then, what? We could do uh, another draw. <gasps> a snipe! <gasps> a snipe! It only costs one! Oh my god, we're going to load, we'll load this shit out. Aw, no fish. Let me get one bonus card. <gasps> Pippet! A Pippet! Pippet. Hi. The character's name, um... What's her name? I can't remember her name off the top of my head. Um, her name is, um... Ranger Alice, I think? Ranger Alice or Ra Ranger Allison. I think it's Ranger Allison. So we could play Wilson Snipe. Which would be an extra card. Or we could play the Barn Owl. I think playing the Barn Owl is the right move here. Isn't it? Yeah, because we don't have any bugs. But we will get a bug. So we could play the... We'll play the Barn Owl first. Ooh, Screech Owl. Or uh, bar Barn Owl, rather. We have to spend one egg. We're going to have to lay eggs soon because we need to do an egg laying round. That's so cool. All right. See, we're jockeying for control here. It's getting rough. Okay. So we could play Wilson Snipe. Wait, we want to do this next. We want to do eggs next for sure. So we want ground eggs. Ground nests, rather. There we go. Lay one egg on any ground bird. Lay an additional one egg on any of your own ground birds. So we'll do that. And we'll do it right here. Look at that. Oh my god, so many eggs. We just jumped through so many eggs. That was so sick. Look at that. We just took a head. We went from fucking two eggs to seven eggs in a single turn. We have an egg machine, everyone. Yes, that's right. We have an egg machine. We should be pogging. Now, we have lots of food. We could play Sprague's Pippet. Actually, you know what? We could do Sprague's Pippet and then extra eggs. Yeah, we're totally doing this. Watch this. We're gonna we're gonna load this shit. Here we go. This is gonna be Sprague's sick. Sprague's Pippet. This rare bird's mating display can last for over an hour. Oh, this would be really good. Visionary leader. We can use this. Wait, how many bull nests do we have? We only have one. We only have one bull nest. We should do visionary leader. We get an extra bonus card. This means that if we have birds in our hand, at the end of the game, we'll get a lot extra. But look, we have a drawing machine. We can draw a ton of stuff. And we need to get more in water, which means we need to draw cards anyway. So that's to our advantage. All right. And now we use our final turn here to get as many eggs as possible on ground nesting birds. And we will pay one extra food to do so. We will pay one grain to do so. Here we go. Wait. Hold on. Let's put on the ground nesting birds first. Wait. Okay, here we go. I'm giving lots to the Western Meadowlark. And then we get one here and one here. And we get one worm from the supply. Look at that 12. He can't even come close. We just aced him. We just fucking out egged this motherfucker. Holy shit, there was so many eggs. Sick. All right. So, now, this is going to be challenging. I think we should play this one. So we can get the Wilson Snipe out and pay the eggs. Now, look at what this is right here. 
we have a win condition that is birds in water environment. So we need to get it, both of the birds in here or he's going to beat us. So we got to do this. We need to get one more in here. We take one egg from here. There we go. We'll take two eggs and then we got this guy out. This is this is sick. We got the we got a hell of a turn in front of us. Okay. So we have four four more ac or yeah, four more actions we can take. Now. We have one Ooh, this is troublesome. We're going to need to get food in between here and now, but let's draw cards first. So let's draw Ooh, this would be good. The violet green swallow looks very good. Oh, but this is a ground nesting bird. Let's take the merganser. And then we'll take one here. Galanu. Ooh. And a mallard. <gasps> mallard! Okay. All players draw one card from the deck. Log-headed shrike. Hey, look, a shrike! Loggerhead shrike! Who was talking about the shrike? Yeah, it looks like we might be able to get some ducks out here. Oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. California quail. Okay. Wow. Okay, they've got the maximum amount of birds in the water, so we got to get one more bird out. Okay. We could play the mallard, but the problem with the mallard is that it doesn't give us... A whole lot of feather points. But it could let us do this. Which would be... Is this a ground nesting bird? Okay, we gotta play the mallard. Alright, we're playing the mallard. It doesn't give us any bird points off the bat. But that's okay. Because what we'll be able to do now is... We'll be able to... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so we have four cards in hand, and if we have eight birds in hand, then we will get uh, seven additional points, which is pretty fucking good. One, two, three, four, five, six, six points. So actually, this is the best way that we can go. This is the... This is actually pretty good. This is the best thing we can do right now, I think. Yeah, this is the best way we can do things. Song Sparrow. American Robin. American Red Start. That's three. And then we're going to get more. So here we go. We get to draw a card. And we get to draw another card. A bronze cowbird. Now we get to do this. Nothing. Nothing. Damn, we unlocked. Oops. No! I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. It's okay. We got enough. We got enough. We got enough. We won! Oh, wait! Wait! We beat the... We won! Wait, wait a second. Did we win? Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait. This is our last turn. We get one more turn, which means we can fill out all the eggs. Oh, my God. We can egg... We can egg go. We can go for the fucking egg shit. Can I have Spectrum? Wait, do we want an egg or do we want to draw? No, we got an egg. Egg has got to be the right answer. Yeah, it's got to be egg. Okay, egging time it is. And we'll give up our last piece of food to get more eggs. Our duck is getting some extra eggs. Now we get two more eggs. We gave some to the Wilson Snipe. And we gain an extra piece of food. Okay, let's see if we win. Do we win? Are we gonna win? We might win. Oh my god, if you all witness me live... Oh, please. Look at that. We won three out of the goals, and we have a crazy deck. Oh, please. Let's hope we win. That's so many points. Oh. Oh, he has more... Oh, he got a lot more bird points than us. Oh, but we got 14 points. And we have a lot of eggs. <gasps> we won! We beat the Atoma!
fucking pog. You just witnessed me beat the fucking Atoma. I can't believe we did it. I wasn't even like, what the fuck? Look at our awesome... Okay, we got to go through and celebrate everything. Hold on. Let's go through the overview. We have to go here. Thank you to the Barred Owl, the Red Crossbill. Thank you to the Western Meadowlark, Sprog's Pippet, the Eastern Phoebe. Look at these egg-laying champions. These three, these three beautiful birds laid so many eggs that our forest thrived enough to overcome the automated menace that is the Atoma Bird. And of course, who else could we thank but our spotted sandpiper, our black skimmer, our barn owl. Actually, our barn owl literally only gave us five feathers, but that's okay. Wilson snipe and the mallard. These two actually were the, uh, these two were the, well, the holes in the build. But honestly, this egg laying, god tier. This fucking hand drawing stuff, so good. We just fucking cream the Atoma. I'm definitely saving that one. Holy shit. Guys, you just witnessed us fucking crunch the Atoma. That thing is so hard to beat. You know, people on the on the Wingspan Discord, they post when they beat the Atoma because it's so hard. And I've beaten it twice now. My friend said that I was a savant for this game. I think I might be. I think Wingspan might be my calling game. Wasn't that awesome? Isn't that beautiful? Such a good game.